Kuan Yin and the Dragon. When I first thought about painting Kuan Yin, she came to me as an idea of a form held together by butterflies and that they would quickly fly away. And so I said, oh, that's the idea of impermanence. So instead of painting her with a million butterflies, I decided I would give her blue butterfly wings to show that idea. But then, as I began painting Kuan Yin, there are 27 versions of her underneath this. Every time I looked at the painting, she would show me another image, and so I would paint it, and then she would show me another image, and I would paint it, and she wouldn't stand still for me, that idea of impermanence. So I finally said, well, I'm going to sort of show a traditional version of her, and then she was quiet. <coughs> she is um, holding the morning mist, which is pouring down into the lotus, the lotus um, blossoms, and she is here to reduce the suffering in the world, and her promise is, is that she will stay until all the suffering is over. She's a triple goddess, so the maiden, the mother, and the crone are depicted by the three aspects of the opening, and the dragon, so Kuan Yin holds the stillness, and the yin-yang part of it is that the dragon holds the, the manifested energy that moves through the world, and he helps our dreams to manifest and become real. And the dragon, when I first painted this, the dragon was very different. It was very male, because I had a male dog at the time, and he passed away. And then, I got a new dog, her name was Jasmine, she was part wolf, and so she could do this easy shape shifting, and the dragon totally changed into this beautiful, dramatic female dragon. So, hello Jasmine. And the little uh, lotuses on the horizon are, is the promise is that the bodhisattvas will always be eternally coming to um, hold the place of, uh, of compassion in our world.